Hello guys, my name is Dailyfix and welcome back to, uh, well, X4 Reemergence with a brand new uh, version of the game. I don't know if I can see it over here, but I believe at the top of my head is version 1.8. 7? Seven, 7-ish? Seven Man, these versions are being pumped out like uh, crazy, absolutely. Uh, but still, you know, it's a good thing, it's a good thing, because mod packs and the modding community have just worked and worked and worked to make the game so much better. Let us head towards this, uh, this wharf. Autopilot. Disengage. Because we gotta do something. Uh, I need to get myself a manager's Argon Wharf. manual. Yeah, something like that. Uh, requires Docking double permission. Granted. Why is that? Well, I'm actually I finished the first module on the whole part factory, and and I heard you. Um, uh, you kind of don't want to see exploration. I can understand that. I honestly, I can. Uh, I got myself quite a good amount of hours into this game. I don't know if I can actually see it over here. I don't like how the um, the hut has changed. Yeah, I've played for 1,760.2 hours. So yeah, I, I got a decent amount of hours. And I, I can definitely feel you. Like, come on man, exploration again. For me, it's the first time playing this mod. So... There is, from what I've been told in the comment section, about 200 modules, um, systems, sorry for that. Damn, <laughs> 200. And, and I was like, oh my god, man, I'm so happy I've explored this tiny bit, and I've been very good. As you can see, I've explored a lot more since then. <laughs> the Otas, oh my, I want to go over the ship so badly. Can I help? Uh, and I kind of made a, a, a decision regarding that this is a basic seminar that it oh okay never mind that, that's great precisely what i needed uh let's just confirm that say so goodbye get to my ship um yeah this one Nova and Vanguard. let's get out of this uh the station let's set course to the whole part factory Auto over pilot. here Engage. Now, while we're flying, uh, as you can see over here, we have the two vanguards. Now, and we have only got one repeat order on the hull part. Uh, right now, I kind of want to keep this lone freighter doing the hull parts uh, from this angle. But the second this is operational, like really operational... Everyone is going all in, and no matter the price, we are supplying the refined metals. We are we are refined. Uh, we are supplying the graphene. Uh, we're buying in the energy, and we're buying in the military schematics. Uh, with the update comes the optional production boost, which is such a quality of life feature. Because I felt like an absolute idiot, not knowing that it was optional, even though it does it actually does say it, right? It. Because it says, if you look in here, like, it, does, it doesn't recru require anyone. And additional output. There's a lots of system. tips and, and so on. I missed oh, a good amount of them. Thankfully, you guys are here. And with your assistance, we can actually make it. Work. So, why do I want to show the ships? Because, oh my god, they're so cool. Let's pause it for a second. They're so cool. Let's, let's go small one. Um, like, this one... We know, like two shield modules, four weapons, two engines, but uh, let's take a look at heavy fighter. I really like this one. Four engines, one shield, six forward weapons. And, and, and I, I really want to fly something like this. Uh, it's cool. It, it, it feels like these are like the, the Argon version of the split. Um, and then you got, of course, the, the, the standard ships, you know. It's fine. All of these. Quite nice. Uh, bomber also looks extremely cool. Look at those. They're absolutely gigantic torpedo launchers. Amazing. Uh, for the mediums, we got the Syracuse, which is... It's disgusting, but that's fine. 
This one just makes up for that so much better. Three forward weapons. We got about uh, four turrets, three shields, two engines. The rest, um, well, we've seen all of them. The large ships, and, and I think the large and the XL ships, man, this is where the mod shines. Uh, this one's standard. Let's go into the carrier. And I've this is so cool. And I wish I could just turn off. I don't know if I can actually. Nope, cannot. That's that's a damn shame. Wish I could turn that off so I can actually showcase uh, how that looks. But it looks so, so slick. I really like it. Absolutely think that these designs are bloody amazing. Large turrets over there. Actually got some... Um, some small ship capacity, which is great. I could see myself flying one of these, you know. Uh, we got this frigate over here. This is all so cool. It feels a bit of Battlestar Galactica sort of vibe. Let's go to the XL because, oh dear God, look at that. There we go, the Tempest battleship. Yeah. I really like this. So much this one it feels a bit odd but like i said they're really working on it and damn it's expensive but yeah looking very very for uh, much forward to flying these so that means that well if exploration is out of the window we kind of do need a new goal because the initial goal of this campaign was to explore and start making money now with the exploration out of the window I think it's time that we start making sure to build stations everywhere to boost relations. If anything, no matter where the series will go, I would like to hoard blueprints. And when we are at a position to really go and wage war with factions, yeah, that's going to be awesome. I really look forward. I don't want to be... Oh, God, no. That guy that just doesn't have all of the blueprints. Feels bad. So, yeah, here we go. This is the uh, the whole part factory. We do need to make sure that, well, it eventually is defended. Now, with these two, we're going to be assigning him over here. I want you to trade for Commander Alpha. I believe Alpha has been my go-to. Yeah, Alpha. And they will start trading wherever. But I don't want to have them trading wherever. I want to be, you know, trading where we can actually make the majority of our money. And we're selling this. At a minimum price is 400. So for now, I'm going to be making sure that this price is not going to be dropping below 400. I know it was at 488, and I could actually keep it that way, but I will forget, and I do need to change that. For the graphene and refinement, I really don't care, I think. Although. Now that we are focusing on money, I should actually. So let's dive into that a bit. Uh, refined metals and graphene. Let's take a look where we are. So the refined metals is over here. And we're selling them at 262. Let's zoom out. Currently, the manager of this station is a two star. So that's two jumps. So, one, two. Is there anything over here? Anything over here? Refined metals are the 181. So, we're currently not selling into this area. Uh, yeah, 181 as well. This one's dangerous, though. I might need to make sure that my ships do not go into that. Because otherwise, they will be harassed by pirates. Kind of don't need that in my life. So, they're buying at 181. What is the highest amount? Okay. So, we could also sell them for 377 over here. 
it's quite a distance though. As for the graphene, the highest amount of the graphene is get rid of the refined metals. Buying for 572. Over here, actually, in Morningstar. But the graphene is being produced, uh, I believe, over here. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. But still, uh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I do need to make sure that my ships do not go into factions belonging to the Vigor Syndicate. So, let's set that up real quickly. Sect Travel. Uh, blacklist one is fine. Uh, do not traverse into sectors owned by enemies. And owned by the Vic Syndicate, the Xenon, the Kach. Anything else I should put on these? Skill plate pack, perhaps. I don't. I don't. Haven't seen them actually owning systems. Uh, the others actually do. So let's set that up, and this is going to be for all civilian ships. Do not travel through those systems. Let's save that, and that is now a standard rule for all civilian types. As for the global orders, eventually I want to make sure that my Civilian ships also drop uh, satellites like laser towers. They really do help and it gives the attacking faction something to attack. So yeah, I quite like that. So as for this, we still need uh, about 6 million to complete the hull part factory. I kind of hope that it... You know, it doesn't really need that much. I actually, it does need that. Of course, it does need that. But it's not going to hurt as much. I could pump the 2 million we have into this right now. But I don't want to do that. Uh, we're going to be looking into... A few more stations. Let's turn off trade. So, we don't have level 5s and I don't see them climbing really fast. So, I do want to start boosting my relations with these guys. And, well, we already know that we have refined metals and we have graphene. So, let's focus on that a tiny bit. Graphene is bought for 214. 222. 200. How about the refined metals? I think the refined metals here was quite expensive. Yeah. So, let's find ourselves a system... That has a good amount of ore. There's a lot over here though. Shadow's End. Very out of the... Yeah, it, it, this actually does have the majority. I think this would be a perfect sp uh, spot to... Start creating another refined metals factory. Now, these guys, they don't hate me, so, yeah, I can actually see. I've, I've flown through this, so I still get the updated travel orders. We do also need to get ourselves a scout ship. Uh, for now, let's start off going to the ore refinery. And... Find metals. And we'll call this four. Uh, let's remove all of these because they're old plants. I wished this would not be taken over in any of the new games. Don't show me this again. This is annoying. There you go. Close that up. This is a standard, I think, 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Ah, god damn it. Create a new plot. Alright, um... Before we do that... Is this a defensive place? No. That is. So is if anything I want to be close to some defensive stations. 
I don't want to be the very first station that any hostiles see when they come in. So we need to be somewhere in this particular region. I think I need to travel over there. Yeah, I need to start traveling over there. Just getting a tiny bit. I know I'm, I'm, I'm a bit nitpicky. But if I can place the base over here. There, or maybe, yeah, somewhere in this region in between these two. Then we still have the defensive tower over there. And I also need that explorer to start dropping down the satellite. So let's go right over there. Autopilot engaged. And I'll actually quickly give the hull part guy. Can I help? Yeah, the seminar. There you go. Goodbye. So you should be level. Yeah, you're close to level three. Awesome. So yeah, uh, I'll meet you guys over there and then we'll start placing the factory. I could I order up. I think I could. Do you have a need for ore? Um, not quite, no. But you're selling refined metals at 91. So I think a repeat order is going to be valid. Selling them... Or buying in at 91 and selling them at 305. Yeah, definitely 305. That would be a very, very nice ship to have. And like I said, Entry I system. will use Our ships incline. belonging to the faction. So let's go medium. Uh, there's actually an express in here. It is so damn tiny. Like, I... I don't know why you want this. I think maybe because of the speed, 5,512. Or 22. Okay, so I'm still going with this one. Of course, not on a high preset. Let's go travel. That looks good. Get some flares. Get some service crew members. It was one whole part, of course, that they are lacking. But that will eventually Entering go. System. So we'll actually head over there. Choice. We're starting to build the Mercury Stalwart. And we're going to be setting him up as a repeat order over here. We're starting generating um, a bit of a relation. We should do that with all of the factions, actually. Okay, so this ship is... Oh, God, that's annoying. Okay, which one was it? Um, the 498. This guy. Traversing through... Man, you have been on a damn roll. This guy is harassing him. We are... Not going to respond... Because it is, the distance is too far away. Remove that damn Audi. Absolute brain that. Yeah, we. I, I need to find a way. It's like, is there a way? So we can produce those ourselves. Like the union. But is that like once you have a habitat? You can produce these. Or how does that work? If someone knows, do let me know. I would really appreciate that. As for the hull parts factory. Uh, we are actually starting to sell. So that's good. The one problem I have that is, is they do transfer. So I kind of don't want Entering that to happen system. right away. Because we're still beacon. buying in energy cells. As well as the... Um, the military schematics. But yeah, at least we're making money, right? Um, let's go to the stalwart. Before it undocks, I need you to get settled. On. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. 
Let's start with 10. Because we need to really map out. Entering system. Legends home. Yeah, we need to start figuring out where these refined metals are needed. Like, this is low right now, but still. Like, if, if this keeps up that the uh, station is not filling its own account first. Uh, then it's going to be very annoying. So, I'm, I'll just keep giving them like 100,000. But at some... Oh, I love that autopilot. At some point... I'm kind of hoping they will fill their own station accounts first. But it doesn't feel like that's going to be the case, unfortunately. Um, I think if I'll just go travel over there, we should have enough vision to place the factory in between these two. What I'll do then, once that is starting to go, I know I don't have the money to really do that right now. But... That will have to start building. And we need to get ourselves um, two minings, uh, two mining ships and another freighter. Just to make sure that this will go. Also I need to find the the labor contracts. Uh, but it seems they might be over. No, actually they're buying, never mind. So yeah. Um, stop moving. Disengaged. Let's quickly drop down the yeah, that would fit there. There would be nice. Go, continue. Plan, refined. Is everything in order? It does feel like it, yeah. Uh, confirm those changes. That 1.8 million. Assigning a builder. I'm going to hold off with that because... Well... I don't want the Antigon in here. I don't think... I found a builder yet. So what I'll do in the time being is I'm going to be traveling through the systems. I'm going to be uncovering the majority of the stations. Hopefully by then I got some more money. And we can actually start building the damn stations, okay? Okay, guys. I've decided that building another station is potentially not going to be worth it. The reason for it is going to be very simple. If I need to babysit all of my factories, it's going to be a nuisance. And I also have like 30,000 refined metals over here, so we're already producing enough. So even though, well luckily we didn't make any investments into this, but we're going to be cancelling out uh, this construction. And I'm actually going to be uh, removing... Uh, this building plot. We already have a ship. And we're going to be keeping the ship of course. Because why not. Let's make sure that that is actually sellable. There we go. And it's currently close to being done. With setting up the satellites. Uh, let's get towards the stalwart. Let's take a look. He is currently... Yeah. This is the final one. So, that final one. And then we'll set up the repeat order. It's It should be enough. To at least start building Entering relations system. with these guys. Gladden but... The it just... It doesn't justify another station. Even though it's so close to this... And oh yeah, this this is so annoying. This build storage. Oh, that is really obnoxious. It's not even there, but it isn't gone. And I hope it's a it's a bit of a bug, but it's with the vanilla as well. So it it's a main game thing, and it just bugs the hell out of me that these build storages exist, and they keep existing, and I don't know why. So, if there is a solution, uh, let me know. I've tried blowing up the build storages in my split campaign. Uh, that didn't really do anything. So, yeah, that's a bit, of a, uh, a bit of a nuisance. Now, one of the things that I can actually do while I'm here is 
start working on my relationship with um, I knew I could count on you. with the OTAS. So while we're flying through these systems, I'm going to be picking up as many of these quests as I can. So when I'm doing some off-camera work, I can easily, you know, just do a few of these missions, really boosting up my relationship. For now, we have over a million and it's not that much, but I'm actually going to be buying myself another one of these, um, these freighters. They're not too expensive, so I think we can actually get away with just one, one more. Oof, this one actually is expensive. Never mind, man. It's bloody expensive. So I'll uh, I'll meet you guys when this guy is actually done setting up the satellites over there, and we'll set up the repeat order. I'm also very much considering getting another two, uh, 2 million in here just so we can get the second module up and running of the whole part factory. The reason for that is we're currently generating 2,352 and I've seen my two freighters not have enough um, resources to trade. And that would be a problem. So yeah, we do need to get some more money. Okay, now with that satellite uh, that he is about to place, that will mark the uh, the end for this ship. So let's say set this up the same way as we've done in the past. So this one is the Argon, and this is one is going to be uh, I think it's Otas. And we call it repeat order. And it's going to be uh, refined metals. Entering system. Profit center alpha. He is a level one so we can use it. Let's uh, pause for now. And I want you to specifically uh, go repeat order. Buy from. Uh, max price, you know, it, it doesn't really matter because, well, we have plenty of uh, of resources. We're not really buying in, but sure, let's set a max price over. We're selling at 189. Mm, does he really, does it really matter for him? Can we just do the other one? No, we will have to do the buy order from. So let's uh, set him up at 200. We'll never get there, but it's fine. Then I want you to trade over here. And I want you to sell for over 290. Uh, we'll start up over here. Right click, sell. Two ninety, and now it's just a matter of adding the locations over here, there. Kind of want to not get into this area, but fine. Okay, I'll just do it. Then he will go back if there is none, and then the next logical one would be this region. Going there. Going here. Can't do it over there. And can't do it over here. So that's fine. So all of these is where he is going to do its thing. This should set up. This should actually make me some decent money. So he is going to be busy. Now, actually, if I was smart, I equipped it with laser towers first. But I wasn't, so yeah. Uh, I will eventually set them up, but right now I need money. Also set another million to go into this building because we do need to construct and we do need to finish the whole part refinery. I think 
that there is not much I can show you. What I'll be doing in my off time is potentially just get more ships on repeat orders. Towards the Talati, towards the Pontifex, towards everyone and just start selling the wares I have. Because the amount is starting to build up really nicely. And I do want to make sure that we are on top of our game. Just making relationship but also just getting money. Making sure we get ourselves a juicy juicy bonus so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and uh, don't forget to hit the like dislike leave me a comment all of the jazz that helps uh, push this video forward and i'll see you next time have a good one bye bye